big blood. This stone. Huge. Dr. Pohl is checking this horse, Allie. She is supposed to be pregnant. That is something in there. Uh, <laughs> but it doesn't feel normal. No. This this is in the uterus. It it that big around. But it is in that I have no idea. I thought it was the bladder because it was that big around. Uh -huh. But the bladder is underneath and that's normal. So we okay. urinate normal. There's yeah. tips. I have no idea what it is. What do we do? Yeah, because I don't know how to get it off. It's solid. I, just, I definitely would love to see it, but that means surgery. There is no way really that you can deliver it because the cervix is completely closed and you would tear everything. It's that big around. Does that hurt her? No. Can I ride her? Yes. Being pregnant does not hurt. Okay. I would just go ahead and ride her. Okay. And if that gets softened up, hopefully next spring she may pass it probably quite uncomfortable and I was also thinking about what he was feeling because I feel like that would be interesting now it could be a mummified fetus what I suspect here is that the cold or the fall that was in there actually died and if you want to see a mummified fetus I have some calves mummified fetus I've never seen it in a horse you want to see one of those yeah load her up I'll bring it out to the front Elena didn't get the news she was hoping for, but it has definitely piqued her interest. That's what's in there. That's a mummified fetus from a calf that came out two years ago. I think it's kind of cool. It looked like a cow, but it looked like a mummy, and it was hard. And it's a mummy. As you can tell, all the fluid is out. All you see is skin and bones. It's clean as a whistle. It could be something like that. Because it's a mummy, it's like rock yeah. hard. Rock hard. When the fetus dies and does not get expelled, then many times the uterus takes all the fluids out. We see this in cows quite a bit. I've never seen it in a horse. I think it's kind of cool if that's inside my horse. Pretty in a way, isn't it? Doesn't it make them sick usually if it doesn't come out and they lose it? No, no the, uh, just the opposite. Because the uterus of a horse is so resilient. Yeah, no problem. Do everything normal with this horse. It's not bothering the horse. If she comes back in heat, this may be expelled. I'm really excited that I can ride my horse after today because I haven't rode her since probably July. It's a long time. A silver lining to yet another unique case for Dr. Pohl.